Now for front view, he's dinosaur heads are pretty thin actually. So I'm going to bring the brush size pretty large. Maybe faster just to do this. About that. And I'm just going to squish it down to about right there. And I'm going to bring my mouse, my brush size down. And we should have roughly the right shape. I, my jaw is a little bit messed up, but I can fix that later. So we got a start to our model. And I'm just going to quick dynamish it again. Remember, control drag. We're going to start putting in some muscle detail now. So for this, we want to go to clay buildup. It should be up here by default in this the quick pick menu. However, if you, it's not there, just find it in here. It's in, it's another one of ZBrush's default brushes. I'm going to bring my size way down, about right there. And for this, I have a pretty decent image for. This I will also link, which it shows three meat-eating dinosaurs. Here's T-Rex, and here's an Allosaurus, and here's the dinosaur we're modeling right now, Ceratosaurus. And it just shows the main muscles that we're going to be modeling. We're going to be modeling this muscle, this right here, and this area right here. And then we're also going to be modeling the skull shapes, kind of, right here. So first I'm going to just dig out the throat area by holding down ALT, which will do the opposite of what you have it set up for, so by default it sculpts onto there. So if you hold down ALT it will take out geometry, and then just do a diamond mesh thing. And I'm going to just, right here I'm doing the jaw muscles. Just give it a nice bulge, that's probably a little too much. I'm going to hold on control, drag, and if you hold down shift, it will switch to a sm the smooth brush. And just hold it down and slightly bring it in. And there we got the jaw muscle shape in. And I'm going to put this throat back in. Dynamesh again and smooth again. And it's gonna bring it let's get it about to that. Now if you're having trouble getting your model to get perfectly flat on the side, just hold down shift and it will snap to the front sides, top, whatever. So you can line your model up and remember you have to be in orthographic view for that. Next I'm going to just get these horns started. Now it's kind of not obvious in this picture but if you were to see it from a front view there's one horn right here down the middle of the nose and then there's two horns right here one in front of each eye. So I'm going to start with this front horn and I'm going to use the clay build up to just bring it up a little bit and then I'm going to switch back to the move and just bring that up and then go from the side view just bring it in so it's thin then use dynamesh again control drag you'll see this bone right here which makes up the horn it's right in front of the eye socket and wraps around this nasal cavity so I'm going to just first sculpt those and then so I have a kind of guide to where to put this so holding alt I am just taking out some geometry in both areas control drag to dynamesh and there's a little guide right there for the horns. 
so I'm gonna just get some geometry started right there. Dynamesh. Grab the move brush. And just drag that upwards. And maybe thin this out a little bit. And that looks pretty good to me. Then I'm going to make the brush eyes smaller with clay buildup. Hold Alt. Just get a little bit of indentation for the nostril. And finally I'm going to get the, the back of the skull right here. Just using clay buildup as normal. Clicking on there. And I'm going to just get that area right here too. Hold control drag. And we got a rough starting point for the skull. I'm going to hollow this area out a little bit. Control drag. And I messed up this area. So I'm going to just bring that back down. And I don't want that gap right there. So. And we got a pretty decent start to the head area. Now I'm going to get some of the muscle attachments for the neck. So first, on the back of the skull, you'll see there's this hook right here. This is a... I don't remember what it's, this part of the skull is called, but this is where the muscle attaches. And in front here, there's going to be a kind of hollowed out area because there's not really any muscle right here. So I'm going to hollow that area out a little bit, I'm going to bring that up a little bit so I can see there, just hollow that out and you'll see this little, it's a little bump from the outside. Now going back to my reference images for muscles, there's this big muscle right here that's attaching to that bone. I was talking about. So that goes basically right here. So just turn this back down so I can see the model better. And just roughly put it in. Now I'm noticing this brush is doing a little bit too much geometry. So there is this called Z intensity. This basically just tells what strength the brush has. Just turn that down some and you'll get a lot more subtle. And I'm not looking quite at the reference in the skeletal drawing yet because I'm just getting the muscle shape in there. And I'm going to quick look back at the reference image to see where I need to have it. And that looks about right. So I'm going to hold down shift just to smooth it out a little bit. And there we got that muscle put in. Uh, and it looks like my jaw muscle is going a little bit too far right here. So I'm going to just bring that forward. Then there is this muscle right here. It comes from the back of the skull right here and goes down to the chest area where so it should go from here to about right here so I'm gonna bring my brush sight down I'm using square brackets remember go back to clay build up and just bring that in From there to there. I'm going to turn off the image for a second so I can see better. And there we have the main muscles put in. I'm going to quick fix this jaw of mine. Since it's, it's doing some weird stuff. Use 
and I'm going to do the same thing I did on the top jaw, which is hollow this out. And while we're at it, we can hollow the throat out. Now this jaw is looking a little too wide right here at the end, so I'm going to use the move tool. Bring it in. And this looks a little too sharp for me right here. So I'm just going to make it more of a bulge than a point. And using Dynamesh, control drag. Finally, I'm going to get some of the jaw muscles right here. So again, clay buildup. And this you'll want to have this image brought up. Looks like I've got my jaw muscle a little too far down. My jawbone a little too far down, so I'm going to bring that up. And then I'm going to just model those muscles coming down through here. I'm going to bring the intensity up a little bit so I don't have to spend so much time working on that. And you'll, this, you'll have to use Diamesh quite a bit because it's going to get stuff really wacky otherwise. And I still have quite a ways to go. so. And as you can see, this stuff is getting messed up because when you model on one side, by default, ZBrush will, it, the brush kind of acts as a sphere instead of just flat circle you're seeing. So really there's a sphere extending to the other side. So it's actually grabbing the other side and dragging it. To turn that off, go to brush, auto masking, and turn on back face mask. So that way it will only model the one side that's facing you, which should help that a lot. There's Diamesh again, and I'm going to use the move tool now for this last little bit, since it's a little nicer to work with. And these muscles aren't looking very nice to me right now, so just Diamesh quick. I'm going to bring them in a little bit, since they're a little too far out right now. And I'm going to use the inflate brush right now. You could also just use the clay buildup right now. I'm going to thicken them. Let's see where it's... I'm going to use some inflate, just to thicken them up a little bit. And I'm going to get some of those internal jaw muscles in right there. Let's move that out a little bit. And I just don't want the throat going down that far, so I'm going to put some geometry in the throat. And that kind of got rid of... Actually, I'm going to not do that. Let's see. Okay. You guys you can see the dia mesh is kind of getting rid of that gap to fix that. We can turn up the resolution of this. Basically this is determining how big the polygons are going to be. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit to see if that worked. Not as much as I wanted it to. And that looks about the right size. I'm going to hollow this out a little bit. And let's just close that in so we don't have to worry about that weird loop going in there. And that looks roughly about what we're, we want. I'm going to thicken this up a little, a little bit right here. But I'm going to bring the intensity down so I don't mess it up so much. 